Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, editor-in-chief of GearLive.com. It's the fall season, fall has arrived, and that usually means we see two major phablets launch before the end of the year. Apple's about to announce the new iPhone 7 Plus, and Samsung just launched the new Galaxy Note 7. Now, since the Note 7 is already available and I've got one here, we're gonna be bringing you a bunch of different videos looking at this new smartphone. This video will be the unboxing and overview of the device. We'll also have my top five features, a camera review, talk about some of the worst features, and then of course, I'll bring you my full Samsung Galaxy Note 7 review as well. Now, if you're not an Android person and you're more into iOS, be sure to check out the video that I just did over at YouTube Space LA, taking a look at some lightning headphones, since the big rumor is that Apple's gonna be dropping the headphone port, which you can see right there on this iPhone 7 Plus prototype. But for all you Android phablet fans, this is the one for you. Let's get into it. Samsung Galaxy Note 7 unboxing and overview. If you're unfamiliar with Samsung's Galaxy Note line of devices, many would argue that it's the main reason for the larger displays found on just about every smartphone today. The first one dropped back in 2011 with a 5.3 inch display which at the time seemed massive. It was so big that Samsung even included a stylus, a piece of tech that many thought had been abolished permanently. Fast forward five years and Samsung has released the sixth iteration of the Galaxy Note, the $850 Galaxy Note 7. Yes, Samsung is going from the Note 5 to the Note 7, but they skipped the number for branding purposes. And now the Note, the Galaxy S, the Galaxy S Edge, and the Galaxy S Active lines all are in number parity. Let's get this guy opened up. This is one of the major large sized phones that's being released here at the tail end of 2016 with the other one being the iPhone 7 Plus. So there's a lot of excitement surrounding this one. Opening it up right on top, we've got the Galaxy Note 7. We'll move that aside and see what else we've got in the box though. You'll also find a SIM tray removal tool, which is always appreciated as well as some instructions and safety information booklets. One change on the Galaxy Note 7 this year is the inclusion of a USB-C port on the bottom, dropping the older micro USB standard. And as such, Samsung includes a USB-C charging cable with the Note 7, as well as a quick charging AC adapter. Disappointingly though, the Note 7 only supports Quick Charge 2.0 rather than the newer Quick Charge 3.0 standard that just about every other Android flagship of 2016 is using. While Motorola and Apple are dropping the headphone port, Samsung has proudly proclaimed that it remains on the Note 7 when it introduced the new phablet. As such, they include your standard pair of white Samsung earbuds in the box, which support the 3.5 millimeter jack, which can be used for taking calls as well. Other accessories in the box include a USB connector that allows you to use USB devices with the Note 7, some extra tips for the S Pen stylus, and even a USB-C to micro USB adapter which you plug into the Note 7 and then on the other side, it allows you to use your older micro USB cables that you may have laying around for charging the Note 7. And that's pretty much it for what you'll find inside the box. We're not looking at the phone in this video too much. That'll be coming in our next few videos. In fact, in my next video, I'll be bringing you my Samsung Galaxy Note 7 top five features list. And I'm curious though, have you picked up the Galaxy Note 7? Are you thinking about doing it? Does the high price kind of make you shy away? 850 bucks is pretty expensive for a smartphone. Hit me with your thoughts on this one in the comments below and I'll meet you down there. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this one and click on my face in order to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all those new video releases I just mentioned as we head toward the full Galaxy Note 7 review. Thanks for watching as always guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards and I'll catch you in the next video. Video.